let's go ahead and send a test message okay so i just received a notification message but uh, my foreground handler didn't work so let me check why it's not working meanwhile we will go ahead and we will put the app in background and let's see if the background handler is working okay so the background handler is working the foreground handler didn't work okay so i finally found out like why this foreground push notification callbacks are not working so we need to perform some more steps so that the foreground uh, push messages callback are working so in order to make them work we we will write one method and we will call one uh, another method which is actually get initial message method so let's first uh, write the method in which we will call the get initial message method so again we have to use future callback and it will be of type void and we can give it a name setup interacted message and no uh, parameters we will pass it will be a asynchronous method and here we will call firebase messaging instance get initial message and now we need to override method and in this method we will call the method that we wrote just now so we need to override initialize state method and here we will call setup interacted message method that we just wrote and now if we run our application then the foreground messages callback should work and we will just see if things are working as per expectation so let's the app get built okay so now let's test the message by sending it okay so now the callbacks are working you can see that the log the print messages that we wrote here are getting logged in the terminal so now our foreground handler is also working and if we put the app in background and if we send a message handling a background message so our background handler is also working so this is how we can make the background and foreground messages uh, handles work and uh, the next step will be if we want to navigate or to uh, another UI when the messages are opened or if we want to get some data uh, from the push notification message that we receive so how we can do that so let's move ahead and uh, try to do that but before we move forward I would like to uh, give one more information that when the app is in background and uh, this background handler has some limitations uh, that this background handler cannot 
do tasks related to interface of the app and also it cannot handle tasks which take lots of time. Uh, it is in the documentation that we shouldn't uh, perform tasks that take long time in the background handler even though it can do things like uh, making HTTP call and uh, getting data from HTTP call but we shouldn't do things like uploading a video or downloading a video the time intensive task shouldn't be performed here and interface related task cannot be performed here so keeping this in mind we can move forward and the next thing uh, we are going to do is that we will capture the data and we will also see how we can navigate to another screen so to navigate to another screen first we need to implement the navigation in our previous video we have uh, used uh, used and implemented uh, navigation the same navigation uh, we will use here in fact uh, some navigations of very simple type we will use here just for the sake of uh, demo so that we can demonstrate the the push notification navigation feature so let's first go ahead and create some screens very simple screens just for the sake of navigation so one screen we will name as chat and we will extend stateless widget because uh, we will not be using any state and these are just simple screens here we will write the constructor and we will add a button to go back to the home screen okay so we are done with the chat screen and now let's create one more screen we can name it profile screen and we just have to change the name of the screen in this case because we just need this screen for routing purpose so we have these two screens now and let's change the name here also And now we will create some routes so that we can navigate to the screen when we uh, use some events. So in order to create the routes we have to comment this home and instead of this home we will be using routes. The first route will be the home. And here we will get the context which will represent the home route and we will copy this code from here and use it here so our home page is represented by this backslash as home and now we need some other routes like profile and chat And 
here we will use the profile screen and similar to this we will create route for chat screen okay so now we have created the routes so we can use the navigations as per our requirement we will return the initial message from the get initial message method so we are able to perform callbacks when there is a push notification and the app is in background and also if the app is in foreground now after the message is received now the user will try to interact with the message so when the user interacts with the message there can be two situation either the app is there in the background or the app is not there and it is terminated and uh, when you tap the push notification the app there is a fresh app that comes out that was earlier terminated or there could be the app that is there in the background and it is brought to the foreground uh, when the user taps the push notification so these two situations we need to handle and uh, we will write two handlers again to handle this situation and the place to write this handler will be my home page state because we need a context to use these two handlers so we can get the context here only and that's why we should write the two handler here the handler will be simple void me methods we will name it handle message open uh, one will be terminated and it will have a remote message so when this handler is called we will print a message that is message from app that was terminated and let's leave it like this for now and similar handler similar one more handler we will have for handle message open background and here we will print message from app that was in background now we need to create another handler which will actually handle the message and we will name it handle message open and we need to pass this remote message to this handler for whatever hand handling process we want to do let's keep it empty for now and use this handler in these two handles okay so whatever task we want to perform we will use in this two handler because i think in most of the situation we will be performing almost like same task either when the message is uh, sorry either when the app is in background and it comes to foreground or if it is terminated earlier and it comes out fresh so uh, keep uh, for now just keep let's keep one uh, handler for performing task and next thing we need to do is that we need to call these two handlers so what we will do 
so we will return a message from get initial message this is just a identifier you can name it as per your wish I think I have to use a weight here and now we will check this initial message and if the message is not null then we will call the handler terminated and we will pass initial message and if it is null then we will use on message open app listener and we will call the background handler and now if we run our app we should be able to get the data from the tap messages and whether our app is in background or it was terminated in both the situation the messages will be handled so let's go ahead and test the app 